quick question and the answer to this question i'm sure you'll be able to tell in the next class after we have completed the bone tumors completely so a 40 years old male presented to the orthopedics opd with chief complaints of swelling and pain in the right thigh near the knee joint a plain radiograph reveals an eccentric expansile lytic lesion without a sclerotic margin so this is the description of the bone tumor that is given expensile lytic lesion without a sclerotic margin we'll discuss what is the importance of all of these terms in today's class with a narrow zone of transition now we'll also discuss these important buzzwords so these point to a particular diagnosis in the distal femoral meta and epiphysis so the site this tells us the site of the bone tumor and finally based upon these descriptions and the x-ray we will come to a diagnosis and i'm sure you'll be able to tell the diagnosis when we complete the topic of bone tumors now whenever we talk about bone tumors and for that matter any musculoskeletal complaint what is the first investigation that we order it is a plain x-ray so let's say like that in the previous question plain x-ray is also known as radiograph in the previous question there was a patient with a swelling in the knee so he had a musculoskeletal complaint so which was the ec investigation which was ordered it was the plain radiograph so remember pain in the joints pain in the bone pain in the muscles which is the first investigation you want to order it's a plain radiograph because first of all you want to rule out a fracture and also the bone tumor characterization is done on a plain x-ray so bone tumor characterization bone tumor characterization is done on x-ray okay this is one of the important topics in which the diagnosis is made on x-ray you don't need a ct scan or an mri to make the diagnosis provisionally but which is the gold standard for diagnosis of bone tumor it is biopsy okay it is biopsy or histopathological examination this is the gold standard when we come to bone tumor diagnosis but remember if we are to do the investigation which is the investigation which makes the diagnosis of bone tumor it is the plain x-ray so the diagnosis of gct endosmal bone cyst osteosarcoma these things are made on a plain x-ray at least first hand now if the question is asked investigation to see the extent of the tumor extent of the tumor then the answer to this question is mri what do i mean by extent of this tumor by extent i mean the part of the bone involved because so for example what length of the bone is involved by the tumor part of the bone involved because that is important in surgical planning what length of the femur is involved if it's a upper uh, humerus uh tumor also by extent i mean neural involvement neural involvement and also joint involvement also joint involvement for all of these things the investigation of choice is an mri now there is one exception to this rule and that is osteoid osteoma and that is osteoid osteoma for that if we were to see the extent of osteoid osteoma and for that matter the investigation of choice for osteoid osteoma is a ct scan and what type of a ct scan since we are talking about bones we'll do a non contrast ct okay so these are the one liners and the basic concepts about bone tumors in general the initial investigation being a plain x ray gold standard histopathological examination and the best investigation to see the extent of tumor is an mri okay now when we want to make the diagnosis of bone tumor so if it is we want to make uh, make the diagnosis of bone tumor which are the three things that we first see okay we want to know first the age of the patient second we want to know the site involved and third thing we want to know the internal characteristics of the lesion 
internal characteristics of the lesion now when i talk about age with respect to bone tumor diagnosis i'm mainly interested in knowing whether it is a skeletally mature skeletally mature patient that is the physis has fused physis has fused or it is a skeletally immature patient skeletally immature patient this is what i want to know regarding the age now regarding sight what things i want to know number 1 being what type of bone is involved whether it is a long bone it is a short bone or is it a flat bone second thing i want to know whether it is located in the epiphysis metaphysis or the diaphysis and third thing i want to know whether it is cortical base it is involving the cortex of the bone or it's involving the medulla of the bone or it's involving the medulla of the bone these are the important things that i want to know regarding the site of the tumor now epi meta dia let's just quickly recapitulate what we mean by epiphysis metaphysis and diaphysis so if this is a long bone first of all the concept of epi meta and dia are applicable with respect to long bones so if this is a long bone like a femur or tibia or fibula this is the physis this is the approximate location of the physis this is a skeletally mature patient so the physis is closed just above the physis we have the metaphysis below the physis we have epiphysis which in turn has contact with the joint capsule this is the joint and then the shaft of the bone is the diaphysis is the diaphysis correct so with regards to site epi meta dia we want to basically know the cranio caudal extent and when we want to know cortex or medulla we want to know the medio to lateral extent of the tumor right now regarding internal characteristic of the tumor i want to know first of all whether it is a lytic or sclerotic lesion what do i mean by lytic or sclerotic so lytic means black or radiolucent now in terms of bone tumors we don't use the term radiolucent we instead use the term lytic lesion so i won't call this a well defined radiolucent lesion in the upper end of tibia i'll instead call it a lytic lesion well defined lytic lesion in the upper end of the tibia that's how i'll call it similarly sclerotic lesions are white appearing lesions or radio opaque lesions but in respect to bone tumors we don't use the term radio opaque we instead use the term sclerotic so i'll call it a well defined sclerotic lesion in the metaphysis of femur that's how i will describe this lesion second internal characteristic are benign versus malignant feature now what are these benign versus malignant feature we'll quickly read upon in this coming lecture and there are five four five important pointers how you differentiate between a benign and a malignant uh, tumor with respect to the lesion so whenever i am given a x ray of a bone tumor or a bony lesion these three things should immediately come to my mind first of all what is the age of the child whether the physis is closed or the physis is open the site of the lesion whether it is located in epi meta diaphysis cortical based medullary based and whether it's involving the long bones the short bones of the hands and feet or the flat bones like skull pelvis sternum ribs correct and finally finally and at the last i'll look at the lesion okay so before looking at the lesion try to look at the age and also the site of the lesion first